So I, I went to Tealicious today and Tealicious is on Freeport. Um, here is their logo, as you can see. Um, I got a few items to try out, including their popcorn chicken, which looks kind of like this. I had some of it, obviously. Um, <clears throat> their RJM Classic, which is a um, pork-based um, bao. And then lastly, I got their um, bang bang noodles. I don't know exactly what it's called in Chinese. Um, uh, they didn't actually have any um, Chinese translations of it. So first off, the noodles. It's it's more of a. It's pretty much vegetarian. There's no meats or anything like that. Although those are um, available on the menu. Um, it's a type of wide noodle, and it looks um, to me like um, <clears throat> it's kind of tossed in some. So it's basically blanched and then it's tossed in some chili oil. Um, the chili oil doesn't look too orangey, um, so I was a little skeptical to try it at first. Um, but here you can see the texture of the noodle. Um, you can definitely see that they used a type of wheat flour. Um, and at first bite, it really reminds me of like the taste of wonton noodles um, <clears throat> but it's actually quite flavorful itself without the chili because there's not that much chili oil in here yeah it's not bad it's not bad <clears throat> so this is um, the Bing Bang noodles is $5.99 I think or $5.95 the popcorn chicken, I thought it was unique. Um, I was there watching the kitchen staff um, cook the stuff and from the outside, of course. And um, this is what their popcorn chicken looks like. They call it a basil popcorn chicken. Um, and um, <clears throat> the popcorn chicken is mixed with different types of flours and starches. Now this one, uh, it's a it's a mix of different things because you can see that the the texture of it is a little different. I think one of the things I noticed was that because it wasn't exactly evenly coated all around, you can see that like right here, that's more closely um, to the actual chicken meat, so it's a little more chewy and there's like a layer of that. But if you can look on this side, this is where the actual flour. Uh, had stuck to the chicken so you can it gets a better crispy texture um, one thing that I noticed that was very unique was that their popcorn chicken they put cheese on top of it so that might not be for everybody um, and while I was eating this it, it actually reminded me of uh, chicken parmesan so it's a, a little different so if you, you for people that typically don't like their popcorn chicken with any cheese on it I would probably recommend to hold the cheese and if next time I go I'd probably ask them to hold the cheese as well. In terms of the flavor, um, it doesn't ex it doesn't really taste as um, Asian as I thought. Um, its flavors doesn't it doesn't really taste like there's any like five spice or any um, other types of more Asian ingredients like any soy sauce. Um, it, it really just reminds me of fried chicken bits um, coated with some flour and then tossed in some basil and topped with Parmesan cheese. So I think the Parmesan cheese kind of threw it off for me a little bit, but um, the chicken itself is still pretty good flavor. There's no like refrigerator taste or anything like that. So, uh, you know, they're using some um, good quality chicken, okay? Um, so that's the popcorn chicken. <clears throat> So this is the um, this is the pork bun, and um, okay, so it's a little bit different in terms of the pork buns that I've had elsewhere. Um, this one does look like it has some pork, and then it, it has a bell pepper in here. Um, I'm just gonna put that to the side. Um, and a, a, as you look at this bun, it looks more like the type of um, bun that you use in like a, a green onion pancake, like chong yao bing, chong yao bing, or uh, chong yao bang, okay. Um, oh, it is really unique. Okay, 
And so, let me try a little bit of the, the bun part. So it, it does have like a more biscuit-like texture. And I'm looking inside of it, and it definitely is not, um, it looks more like fusion, I think. <clears throat> I think now I understand like the concept behind the popcorn chicken with the Parmesan cheese and things. And um, so this, if you can see in here, it actually has a slice of avocado. Uh, it looks like some more cheese. And, but it looks like it still retains that traditional braised pork. So. The pork has pretty good, um, what they call like old soy sauce um, braised taste to it. Um, it does look like they use half fat and half lean meat, so you can look at that. And uh, it's pretty tasty. <clears throat> and they look, they top it off with some green onion and well, green onion, regular onion, and as I mentioned, the bell pepper before. But overall, an interesting texture. Um, It's actually pretty good for um, the, the flavors are pretty good I think so try that if you're at tea delicious um, the regular milk tea I wanted to get oolong milk tea however they call it a latte there and I didn't want the milk foam so I, I opted for just the traditional milk tea uh, no boba I did 50 sweet and um, I thought that the sweetness was um, perfect the tea flavors, it, it might be a little lacking on tea flavor. I'm not sure if it's because I got half sweet in terms of ratios when um, the person made it. it. It's a little different. So maybe next time I'll try it at full sweetness and how it's meant to be drink, drinking. <clears throat> um, but it still has some, it has pretty good tea flavor. Um, other menu items that I saw while I was sitting there waiting for things included um, this like fresh fruit mixed drink and I think next time I might want to try that it looks pretty good and they do have sit down tables it's um, very modern looking a lot of wooden furniture um, and on their menu I do want to try their noodle soups next time um, and I think one of the ones that I, I'm looking forward to will be the braised beef noodle and that definitely caught my attention since I do a lot of beef cooking at home and um, I do a lot of noodle making in general, so um, overall my trip to Delicious it was pretty good. I think that it's a good start. Uh, I asked when they opened and they actually opened only um, less than two weeks ago. So I think that there can be many different things that they can work on. However, um, you know, bringing something new to Sacramento is really important and I think that having some restaurant to bridge that gap between having more traditional and modern Chinese food available in Sacramento is a big step. So um, please do go try out Tealicious um, if you're in the area and let me know what you think about them.